He just he just picked it up. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's a good one. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. I'm at the lake today with Jeff. You all remember him from the fly fishing video. We are going to try see if we can't catch a few catfish. All we have is bread. It's a pretty day finally. It's been like in the 20s the past few days. So All we have is bread to work with and uh, see if we can't land a few for dinner. So we'll see what happens. That's perfect. Right. And I got some little split shots, whatever. I mean, we could. All right, so I just took a piece of bread and wrapped it around treble hook. We'll see what happens. I know there's a bunch of catfish and carp in this area, so actually there's one right there. Well, there's about ten right here. Carp. Let's see if I can. They're all carp. Oh, he's going right for it. Oh yeah, he just ate it. Hooked up. We're hooked up. Oh yeah, carp. Look at that, that is awesome. I'm about to get my fly rod out and see if I can catch one of these guys. How cool is that? That is cool right there. Little slimy carp action. I might need your pliers. Yeah, I really think I'm gonna get my fly rod out. How cool would that be? I just don't know how to get them with the fly rod. Did they hit that? Yeah. Okay, so uh, Jeff just lent me his fly rod. Let's see if these carp will hit this bait. I don't even know what you'd call this, but this is what he catches whites on. So we'll see if these carp will hit it. this up did you rig another one up no, I didn't. let's uh all right so I didn't expect to catch a carp that's for sure I thought we were gonna be catching catfish but I have never eaten a carp before and uh, I know I've seen some people on YouTube eat them and they say they're good so leave in the comments if I should do a catch clean and cook on a carp if I catch another one I'll put it in my ice chest and I'll take it home and clean it and cook it. So we're gonna get back after it. Hopefully we can snag a few more. Not snag, we're catching them in the mouth. But uh, this is a blast. All right, I'm just gonna throw some more bread out, see if we can get them back up to the top. I caught that one, it kind of scared them, I think. We'll see if they keep munching. He just, he just picked it up. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's a good one. Oh. Yes. Got him. Oh, this is a big one, dude. Yeah. Heck yes. Come on, baby. Let me land you. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Dude, he like went straight for it. I need to get down here. Heck yeah. Come here, baby. You are dinner. 
Heck yeah. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Sweet. Let's go put him in the cooler. Yes. This is a blast catching carp on a rod and reel. I've never done it on a rod and reel. And uh, I just threw my uh, bread ball in there and he like swam straight for it. And I, I lost sight of the bread ball and uh, I just saw a tick in my line and set the hook and he's going on a dinner table. I've never eaten carp before, but uh, I'm definitely gonna give it a shot. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe like a curry, um, like a some kind of curry dish. I, I know a lot of people do that with carp. So we'll uh, throw them in this nice cooler full of ice down, perfectly non-fishing smelling drinks and uh, take them home and clean them up. Heck yeah. Got the old slime off on the waders. We're gonna get back to fishing. Yeah. All right, I made it home. We ended up not catching any more fish. Um, it was weird, they would, they were, uh, you'd catch one and they'd disappear for about 20 minutes and then they'd show back up and caught that other one about 20 minutes later they'd show back up and they just wouldn't bite after that so we got the old fish ice down I'm going to uh, set up on the dock and clean them real quick I'm not sure how I'm gonna clean them I think I'm just gonna scale them keep the skin on and then uh, fillet them out so I'm just gonna start out by scaling them uh, they got super big scales so I don't know how hard it's gonna be that's not too bad So I listen to you guys, and I have done it before, I just didn't do it in that other video, but I'm using a fork to get these scales off, and it works really well. Alright, so I got that all scaled up. I'm just going to fillet them like I would uh, fillet uh, any other fish. Try to, anyway. I know, the, I know carp have tons of bones, so... Not real sure how this is going to uh, cook up on the grill. I got I got mullet all in my mouth. They have very raised rib bones. So there's our cart fillet. That doesn't look bad at all. Skin on. Got a little poopage coming out. I'm going to knock this other side off real quick, and then uh, I'll see you guys at the grill. Alright guys, I'm actually at my sister's house tonight. Came by, cooked dinner for them. They still have the newborn. Got the fish over here, and we're also cooking a Wagyu steak. So I'm just going to make this in the steaks. I don't even know, what is this? A rump? Or a roast? And we're going to cut it into steaks. Supposedly it's the best steak in the world, so... We'll see. Ooh. That looks delicious. That is money. And then, uh, he said just to put salt and pepper on it, so. Let's hope this is as good as they say. Oh, yeah. That's, you think that's good just like that? Yeah. Just stick it up. All right, so I got the old mullet man seasoning. I don't know how I'm gonna cook this. I think I'm just gonna put it on foil and uh, and grill it and just get the true flavor of what it tastes like. It's pretty fishy. I don't know what <laughs> what it is about this seasoning, but I sneeze every time I open this bag. Little Mary. She's so tiny, look at my hand compared to her. That's crazy. Uh -huh. And then like I'm trying oh, to get used to it again. So yeah. Mix with other stuff. And take this bad boy out to the grill. So the girls haven't asked us yet what kind of fish this is, so 
We'll see how long that lasts. Hopefully they don't ask. Are you gonna try it? Yeah, I'll try it. I've never had carp before. It doesn't look good and it definitely doesn't smell good. It smells like super fishy. Lay that on there and let it do its thing. See what it tastes like when it's done. Yuck. I'm really looking forward to this, not that fish. Dang, look how fast that, we literally just put that on. It's like skin is all shriveled up already. Uh, Oh yeah. What's she looking like? Oh, that steak looks good. Wagyu and some carp. I'm really interested to see what that tastes like. And we'll put that on the same grill. Yeah, we shouldn't have put that all together. Mm. That looks delicious. Big old bone. Mm. We'll just uh, fold that foil up. Got the fish. Let's see what it tastes like. Alright, I'm gonna do a taste test real quick on this fish. I don't think there's any bone in that. I'll never eat a carp again. Is that bad? That's disgusting. I have not, uh, there hadn't been anything on this channel yet that I haven't not liked, but that is, uh, here, we'll just, we'll go ahead and let Judd try it. Uh, I got no, to take you a got, word for it. Take it, take a bite. It tastes like fish smells. Yeah, I do it. So there's our, uh, I'm not even going to feed that to the girls because that's like, I won't even eat that. That's, that stinks that that's a waste, but that is absolutely terrible. I don't know if I cooked it wrong or, bleh, that is nasty. So, uh, wow, we'll just go ahead and, the cat won't even eat it. So I'm going to go ahead and toss this, feed it to the seagulls and the old, uh, Dump. All right, let's see what these steaks look like on the. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Rare wagyu. Well, that's gonna wrap this video up. I am very shocked on how nasty that fish was. Um, I've never had fish that bad and uh, I'll never keep a carp again to eat. And that's the end of that story. So, hope you learned something from this video. Um, leave it in the comments if you have a better recipe. I guess I'll, I'll try everything twice. So, if there's somebody that has a comment that is just absolutely all for eating carp, um, leave it and maybe I'll try it again one day. But I'm going to enjoy the rest of this night with my family. Hope you are all doing the same. I uh, can't wait to eat this Wagyu beef. I've never had it before, and uh, it looks amazing. So thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, and remember, eat good.